Welcome back to Kentucky Lake and the 2017 Cabela's Collegiate Big Bass Bash presented by Berkeley. The snow is finally tapering off and the high winds have laid down. We're back to the business of catching fish. I'm kind of short off this point earlier. Yeah. Am I going too fast for you? No, you're fine. Okay. It's actually not that bad now. I mean, it's cold, but it's not, it's not absolutely miserable. What, what has that done to your game plan? What does that do? It's changed a little bit, made us slow down a little bit. Uh, we had some fish yesterday, in, or day before yesterday in practice that were sunning themselves on some, uh, some sandy ledges, and they're not there anymore, so. We're thinking they just kind of pulled back a little bit and we're trying to get them. Because the water, the water temperature dropped about four degrees, but it's still really not all that cold. So they seem to still be hitting moving baits. Just they're not wanting the really bigger baits like we were catching them on Thursday. We were catching them off some bigger chunk rock too. So I think they're feeding up there on those rocks. A little bit warmer, warmer water maybe. That's my thought on it all. Okay, we are ready to start session two. Session two is presented by Bob's Machine Shop. Getting right into the highlights from session two, Western Michigan University's Macaulay Kennedy scored valuable points for his school and locked up fourth with his first catch of the day. McKendry's Brendan Madden took third with 475. Thomas Soleil took second with one pushing the scales to 532. But it was Spencer Guthrie from Kennesaw State stepping up and winning session number two. Uh, I hope so. Well, 394 last session. Yes, sir. A 574. Hold that fish up. You just took over the lead. That's the way to get them going. Hold that up for the camera. 574. Way to go. Hold that up there and let everybody see it. Here's a peek at the final results for session number two presented by Bob's Machine Shop. Moving right into session three, presented by Cabela's, Louisiana State's Dakota Sparks is at the scales. This is just a baby compared to what y'all catch out of Louisiana. Dude, I don't know, sometimes you can get around some big ones down there, but this lake's got a lot of quality fish. How about a 563? Y'all put your hands together for him. Get that fish out, Dakota, let's look at it. Tell us how you caught this one. Uh, caught on a big swim bait, just kind of slow rolling on the bottom, a little bit deeper water. Okay, that's the first we've heard of a swim bait. Right, Levi Sharp, also from Louisiana State. Y'all in the same boat? How much pressure are you going to put on him for the lead? He's got me. He's got you. Y'all have already been out there looking at him in the boat. Okay, maybe you'll be in second. A 544. Yes, sir. Second place, 544. We're throwing these big swim baits off in about 70 foot of water and just reeling them back up across that ledge. And those big fish are hanging out there just eating them uh, as soon as they hit the ledge. Finishing just ahead of Levi and Dakota, yes, Bryan sir. College's Wait Dylan Pritchett weighed one for 639 in third place. Fish. Bethel six University's four. Tristan McCormick four. took second with 644. And it was Tusculum's Corey Neese bringing in the biggest fish of session three. How much does it go to weigh? I'm hoping seven and a half at least. Let's do it, 757, way to go, get it out, take a picture. Good looking fish, new big fish of the entire tournament. Right now, if that holds up, in this session alone, presented by Cabela's, you have a $1,000 Cabela's gift card. Hold that up for Kevin. And here's a look at the final leaderboard for session three, presented by Cabela's. 